here with you right now. What's going on? Right now, this is actors, actresses, EFFL, executive producers from Nigeria came all the way out here to feed the homeless in Los Angeles. Making a difference. Yo. Shout out to all y'all cats sitting in y'all beds waiting to stuff y'all stomach. Next year, y'all better be out here and giving back to your community that you're living in. And blessed and fortunate to eat your own meal should come back out here and share the love. Yeah, what he said. For the, for the youth, for the youth, for the youth, here. for the youth and the mothers out here who are distressed and hungry, yep. what offer a solution to you and have to give them to keep them up their spirits up for this year? Listen, keep God first. That's number one. Put God in your life first, and just follow your dreams, man. Don't let nothing like this happen. This is an obstacle course. When you're down like this, the only place to go is up. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of that. Follow your dreams. And there is no such thing as this is the final the final end. This is not. This is the beginning. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And never be afraid to ask for help. Lord Jay. And you can hear the sound of peace in the water. Tripping on your Hey, I'm Claudia George. Um, I'm a radio and TV personality. But I didn't get to go home this year for uh, to see my family. So I thought, what better way than to spend the day coming down here and trying to help out any way I can to help you the homeless and um, take part with the Fred Jordan mission. So I did this a few years ago and I was very touched. And I said, you know, next time I'm able to do this, I want to come back and more involved. So I think it's awful that in a city like Los Angeles, I think we're the fifth largest economy in the world, that we still have so many people on the streets that are hungry. Uh, I know we pay a huge amount of taxes here, so I think that money should be funneled more into uh, help with the homeless. I really don't. So I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And if you're watching this, I hope you're inspired to uh, lend a helping hand, whether it's donating money or just coming down here in the trenches and helping out. So happy Thanksgiving. So what, what brought you out here today? Well, um, I like to serve. I like to give up service of myself, and so that's really important to me. Part of my life, it's part of what I do. So it's just another day for me. Yeah, and why did you come out here and say instead of uh, staying home watching football, um, the couch? We came out because we had a great day to be able to come out and help people, and that's what we're about. Um, we, I had to leave my mom at home by herself, but uh, on Thanksgiving Day, we just, we want to give back. God has given us so much, and we want to give back to, to Him. Are you excited that our art is moving in a direction towards missions and serving? Very excited about that. Our M&Ms, we're very excited about missions and the message and everything, and I can't wait to be a part of that. What, what exactly is uh, your team doing today? Our team is doing the cleanup. We're the cleanup team. Uh, yeah. 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 
Who believes anything's got to be crazy anyway with the food, the good food that we have? Who believes something will clean it up and get the next people going? Uh, that's great. Uh, this is the first time you've ever done anything like this? This yeah, is our first time. time. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Tell me about what it's like to actually uh, make the decision to, to actually come out and volunteer, maybe if you haven't ever done that before. Well, the decision was that Lee and I, you know, we've been blessed this year. We've had our ups and downs and, you know, we realized that you know, we have to get back, you know. And uh, I started with a uh, mission going to, uh, to Mexico. What, what would you say to people to encourage them to get out here and join us and do some of these things? And, you know, maybe because we haven't been a service-oriented church in the past. Trust me, I've brought people here. So these are some of the people yeah, I brought here for the first time. We first time we see you. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited because what time I come and um, take you in, you know. Well, and I have my mom at home. Her name is Manji Gopi, and she don't know I come here. And I'm so excited because the first time of first my life I come to volunteer for American because my birthday is Thanksgiving. I hope so anybody they have be at Thanksgiving and have a good time, have good food, and we serve it and make the good heart, you know. That's fantastic. I'm so excited. First time I do it in my life. First time I live in the Western Vietnamese girl, Lady Boy, and the mom, she can see me on TV. I was so excited when they told me today, hey, you know, we're going to go volunteer. Because, um, you know, we're talking about giving back, and look at us, we have everything, right? We are very blessed, and so what a great thing for us to do, because this is, we, we have it all, like, let's admit it, I mean, we have so much, and so this is a great place to be, this is a great way to spend this morning. You can see the light of the rainbow. Man, we coming out here to feed the homeless, gotta get back. Everybody that's in their beds, waiting to stuff their stomachs, y'all better be out here next year and come out and represent for your peoples in your own neighborhood. Absolutely. Let's go. The time is now. Shining just for you. And you can be the one who dares to make a difference in the little things that you do. About to go greet the people and welcome them. Basically, say to them that we here, we showing love because that's what we do. And you see this, man? <laughs> this is big. This is big because you got Hollywood and my friends and people that that actually go out there and work hard to try to follow their dreams. And we out here taking the time on Thanksgiving, on the day, to help matters. our people. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what's about. That's what's about the kids, all of the adults. That's what it's about, man. That's what we got to do. Tom, I mean, let's ask Peter. Peter, 
who are the recipients? Right. Well, the recipients I'm things have changed as more people have lost their jobs, their homes have gone into foreclosure. Businesses of the, com the companies they work for went out of business. They end up losing everything, end up on the street, and end up not having a place to go, not having an oven to cook a turkey, or a table to, to lay out beautifully for their family. But they can bring their family to Fred Jordan Mission. Are there, have, you know, are there people coming here from other areas, like Santa Clarita, perhaps, uh, different churches? Oh, well, the recipients today, the, the people that come here today. Sure, there there are folks yeah. coming from from the valley, from Orange County, from Santa Clarita area, uh, San Fernando Valley, San Gabriel Valley, all over Greater Los Angeles that are in a place where they can't afford the things they want. What's what's a dollar figure? Oh, every person who eats today, this meal actually costs in the over two dollars. But you can't put a price on all the volunteers who have been cooking. We've had a crew in the kitchen giving their time since Monday morning until today, Thursday morning, it's ready to be served. And, and this event, by the time you pay city fees and rent tables and chairs and stages, this will cost close to 25000 just for what you see on the street. No staff costs, uh, no other costs, just what you see. Now you send them away with groceries and they yeah, want to thank you all as well. Spending a few oh, moments with thank me this you. morning. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so much. 2011, right? Yes, it yes. is. Okay, you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And thank happy you so Thanksgiving. Much. You as well.